what do you do now in terms of just building a high performance team? You know, over the years, you've, you've certainly learned how to hire people and build that team. But what do you look for in hiring leaders these days, just in hiring people in general? What are some of the best practices that you're like, if you're hiring or interviewing or engaging with someone that could join the, the ZS family, what are some of the things that you look for and, and that you do when you're engaging with someone? Yeah, when I'm looking to bring people on the team and, and hire, and we've done a good amount of that at CS. I mean, since in my time here, we've doubled the size of the of the marketing and communications team. And part of that is because the company has been doing very well and growing as well. So we have to try and stay in front of the business a bit, which is a good problem to have. A couple of things come to mind, Jeremy. I think, you know, one is I like marketers that have spent some time either working directly or supporting business stakeholders, right? So they've almost had a bit of a consulting type role somewhere in their career. Some people may have done that just a little bit, and then they've migrated into a, a type of marketing where maybe they're running a center of excellence, like they're the digital marketing center of excellence or something like that. You know, so there's there's different aspects of this. But I, I like people that have a bit on their resume where they've worked directly with the business. They've had to have a bit of a consultative type approach in working with the business and partnering in the business and managing stakeholders. Because that's a big thing that we do in B2B, right, is, is manage internal stakeholders. I think it's also about, and it's hard, maybe hard to get this on a resume, maybe it's more of an interview, but having a mindset of customer experience, right? I mean, one of the things that marketing and communications teams do is we connect the dots across the organization so we can have a understanding of what the customer experience might be or could be. So that comes to mind. Um, and then I think ultimately, I think this is probably table stakes, but, you know, people that are, are curious, that want to learn, maybe they want to kind of learn a different industry, or maybe they've done this type of work in the past, but they want to pivot a little bit and kind of dive deeper in there. I think that's a, I think that's a good thing. If I could pull on a thread that I've interviewed, you know, hundreds of, of, of marketing leaders, curiosity is one thing that really comes through a lot of times where if you ask someone like how they get to where they are and they'll say, I listened and I was really curious you hear things like that, like, wow, the, you know, these are words that we hear a lot of, but then if you kind of think like, again, an individual like yourself or others who to navigate the often really interesting world of corporate America, to be a good listener, to be really curious, if you really go into those two areas, I mean, that can, that you can end up where you are, right? Where you're, you're truly at the helm supporting uh, massive impact. So I love that you brought curiosity up. That's huge. Believe me. The success that that we've had here at CS and on my team, you know, in some ways I get to be the mouthpiece and I get to, you know, have some of the conversations with people like yourself and, and other executives inside ZS. But fundamentally, it's the team. You know, I'm not going to be successful if my team isn't. I want to bring people on board that are smarter than I am and have had different experience than I have or more successful or wh whatever that is. It's like, I think that's a healthy thing, right? And then bring those people on the team and kind of like stay out of their way and let them do good work. The way I sort of think about running my team is that I, I want everyone to kind of know where we're going, what the game plan is. But yeah, hey, then it's up to them to be, you know, they're, they're the ones on the field running the place. And so let's try to stay out of their way and uh, and help, you know, if, if speed bumps come up, I'll help them smooth them over. It. But But they're fully capable of doing the work. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more great marketing interviews with today's top industry leaders. And thank you to our partners at Salesforce. Salesforce brings marketing and engagement together. Head over to salesforce.com forward slash marketing.